Hey everybody, how's it going today? Superfin here, and welcome back to our Winter Tooth Legendary Campaign, led by Throg. Okay, we got a rebellion over in the Hellspire Mountains, whoop-de-doo. Uh, an army has been hindered. That's over here. He's been doing that every turn, fine. Oh, uh, we got raiding in Winter Pyre, no big deal. Uh, raiding, 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 raiding. Okay. Um... Really? He can't catch him? He can't catch him, huh? Odd. Really, really felt like he moved a lot farther than I expected he would have. Okay, let's go ahead and let's complete this uh, province. 2,500. Ouch, that hurts. And, oh, we got so much money to spend. <laughs> <laughs> and no money to actually spend. Okay, let's see. Um, income. Yes, income. And have we gotten our income building over here yet? Uh, no, let's do income. Our pathetic Norskin income. Let's do income here also. Oh boy, we're, we're getting close to broke. Oh, this makes me nervous. Makes me nervous spending all this money. Okay, we got we to gotta disband some fellas here, don't we? Um... Okay, that saves us 500. We gotta let you go, buddy. Um, where is it? It's in here. Whoa, that one guy was 600? 600 per turn for him? Seems kinda high, doesn't it? Uh, okay, we're gonna let this guy go now because we chased the dwarves away. Boom, we're down to 3,000, okay. Yes, you eat your enemies. How are we going to catch these dwarves? we got to find a way to get them. We need to catch them. Okay. And then uh, we can fight this battle. Or auto-resolve it. I'm not going to fight this. Um, yeah, auto that. And these guys rank 9. <laughs> wow. These guys are rank 9. Uh, 34 and 1,000. And we got a ton of money out of that. And we were doing savage skills. And then we'll just uh, cruise back over here. Okay, we got like four turns. Four turns! And we got... Um, why do we got such terrible public order? Oh, why is he raiding over here? He shouldn't be raiding over here. Um, how far can these dwarves move, right? Maybe we can lure these guys. Let's, um... Okay, the garrison building is almost built, right? So... Maybe... Maybe if we take Inger and, like, put him over here... Maybe these dwarves will try to catch Inger, okay? This, this worked last time. It worked with the last army that was in there. Um, now, Throggy. Throggy Poo. What do we do with you? Should we take Throg and chase this guy down? Oh, we got a skill point in here. Um, this is our metal sorcerer. Minus 30 armor. Yes, please. We'll use it on the Iron Breakers. Oh, boy. I feel like chasing these guys is going to get us nowhere. That's just how I feel. Um, and I feel like if we don't try to catch them, that they can run over this way. We need an army that can... Um, Oh, and now because Throg's not raiding, we're down to 3,800. Okay, um, let's see. Minus 46 public order here. Okay, maybe we, maybe we should bring Wolfric um, through here. It'll take us several turns, but with uh, if we raid with Throg, we might be able to do it. My only concern is I hope that um, that Kislev army doesn't like decide to come up here and get into Ice Drake Fjord. If they do that and we don't have Wolfric over here, you know, it's very risky. We could end up trading territory in here to knock out the dwarves. Ah oh, man, such a such a 
bum decision they have to make. Do we got a um do we got a hero over here that we can scout with? Cause I, I'd like to disband this guy if we're gonna do that. Um what are his campaign effects? Does he increase any uh, income in the local province? No. He's costing us a couple hundred, so and let's see. These have got totally positive uh, public order. So, what happens if we just drop uh, Wolfric and this guy? Like, no, I didn't want to do that. It's tempting to just put Wolfric into a force march and bring him over here because a third strong army would be enough to knock out the dwarves. Um, you know, the other thing we could do, the other thing we could do. Okay, you know what? Um, I don't think that they will both attack. I don't think they're gonna come out. Okay, I don't think they'll come out. So what we'll do, is we'll set up in a reinforcement range here. That gets us back down to 2,400. On the next turn, we can move to about here, and they still won't come out, because if they come out and we catch them, we'll be able to run them down. Now, if they decide to bring this guy like over this way, then we just pop in a lord and hire a regiment of renown. Yeah, okay, this is going to work. This is how we're going to do it. Uh, let's get this guy back over here so that we get the, um, the rebellion here, because we do need that money. And so what I think is going to happen, uh, we take Throg and Inger and we move them to about here on the next turn. And if this guy try, decides to come out and go this way, um, then we can get both of these things right here. We'll, we'll be able to sack them both because they'll be it'll be undefended. And the, the worst they could do to us is come over here and attack like this stuff, which, you know, it costs us money and we just got it. But I'm not so concerned. And then these guys will be homeless. So really what we need to do is we need to go get this, um, I was calling it Coastal Town because I can't pronounce that. We need to go get Coastal Town. That's uh, that's our goal. And the other thing we could try to do is, let's see, can we assassinate this guy? 20%, that's pretty bad. Um, if we assassinate the Lord, uh, our death guy I think usually has a pretty good chance. Twenty? No, none of them do. I kind of want to try to... Um, Assault the units in here so that they they feel like they have to replenish. But I don't want to lose um, somebody from the army. Let's see. What's his chance of success? 40. They're both 40 and a 7% chance to be wounded. Um, but assault units should keep them locked in there for an extra turn, I think. Okay, you know what? We're gonna bring we're gonna bring one of these guys this way, and the other one we're gonna try to assault the units. Okay, we're gonna give it a try. We'll see what happens. Failure. That's okay. He did get EXP out of it. Um, we've been doing battle lines. He's got one skill point. So this is what we'd want to um, put points into to make them better at doing this. Um, we got a lot of okay. Let's go ahead and uh, at least get patrol ambusher. I think that might help us with the dwarves, and okay, we'll deploy him. Okay, and that's it. Oh, oh, beautiful. I'm bouncing up and down in my chair right now. This is so great. <laughs> um, this will be a tough battle, though. This will be a tough battle. Um, we got lots of magic, but it's like it's just Inger. Okay, let's uh, <laughs> let's give it a try, right? So maybe what we want to do is get Inger uh, back here on the Iron Drakes and just keep buffing him with spells. Just keep Inger buffed, right? Let's go ahead and try to gamble. It could turn out bad for us, but... Um, oh, we got lucky. How high? That's it! Okay. So, we'll just walk. 
We're not going to bother um, running. Okay, and so let's see. We got uh, melee leadership, or I'm sorry, uh, melee defense and leadership. Now, we can keep Inger buffed with this. This gives him armor piercing damage and melee defense. Uh, that's kind of perfect against dwarves, right? And let's see, what else do we do? Oh, and then this one. How far can the uh, Iron Drake think he's fire? Okay. And then what do we got here? I think we want to save the armor debuffs for when these guys go in. Um, they're anti-large. Frenzy and regeneration. What's this? Smoke and mirrors. They're a little faster. Metal shifting. Oh, metal shifting is from the, um, the metal sorcerer. He gives everybody... Um, Armor piercing damage map wide, so that's good. They are weak to fire damage. Now, Inger. Inger has regeneration. And rage, stage two, physical resistance. So the longer the longer he's stuck in battle. The longer he's stuck in battle, the more um, you know strong he's going to get. The other trickster's shard. He decreases damage resistance about everybody else. Hurts everybody's melee attack and locks him in place. And he's got the ward save and physical resistance and missile resistance. All right. We're, we're going to have to play it a little bit smart here. Um, now, let's see. How far? What's the range on this thing, right? Actually, we could just look at the tooltip, right? 200 meters, that's pretty far. So, we want to bring this guy and this guy. Okay, we want to we want to keep um, them within nice range of Inger so you can keep them buffed. Now, the troll hammer torpedo thing, that mm, that's a concern. I wish Inger was faster. And they've got a, um, is this a master? It's not an engineer. This is a, um, oh, I can't remember what he's called. <laughs> he buffs everybody, though. Okay, so let's see. Oh, what is he called? And it's not, it's not telling us what kind of unit he is. Okay. Okay, are they going to stop and turn towards us? They are. How much is this going to hurt Inger? Okay, let's see. Ooh, ouch. Okay, and we'll get a buff and a buff. No, no, dodge the hammers, dodge the hammers. Don't run into the hammers. Where are you going? Get back over here. Okay, let's uh, let's take out this... Um, he's not a Thane. What is he? Gosh, it's driving me nuts. Okay. We'll get on the... Um, these guys back here. Oh, man, he just got walloped. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, Inger's doing good. He's still winning. All right, and then the, uh, the Werekin back here. They should tear this apart. They got Thanes. They got Master Engineers. A runesmith, that's what he is. He's a runesmith, right? I think he's a runesmith. Okay, and then, and a couple of, oh, what are these? These are the, uh, the iron breakers, okay. Kill the runesmith, kill the runesmith. Just need these guys to break. Okay, let's, uh, let's get into the iron breakers here. Okay. Okay, and we got to run the uh, the torpedo thingies down. And, ouch, okay, Inger. Inger's hurting. Okay, we'll get these guys out of here. Okay, we're going to get on this guy. 
Now we do an Inger. Okay, melee defense. He's tearing apart the Iron Breakers. So now, um... No, I want, uh... Let's get on the Lord. Okay, no, no, come on, run, run, run. Okay, so we're gonna get on the Lord, and we're faster than these guys. What are these, Iron Breakers? And these are all Bombardment, Vortex. Let's see. It's all Vortex. I want something that actually damages units would be better. Okay, and let's go finish this guy now. And let's uh, keep buffing Inger here. And then we'll get our skin wolves. Let's get our skin wolves over here. Come on, kill this kill this stupid runesmith. Okay, and these are iron breakers chasing our wizards and whatnot. That's okay. okay these guys are These guys are dumb. No, what is he doing? I want the skin wolves over here. What is so hard about this? Get over here. Okay. Ah. Right. And okay, buff everything here. All right, now we need some uh we need some big buffs, okay? All right, let's go get the Iron Breakers with these guys, see if they can do it. Okay, there goes their Lord. Okay, now everything's crumbling. Okay, good. They're wiped out. Good, 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 good. Ooh, that was tough. Okay. That was good. Perfect. Just what we needed, right? Just what we needed. <laughs> 53 against 326. Inger did all the uh, heavy lifting there. He's our man of the hour. 2300 and 68, 680. So like 2900. Now they'll start damaging our province. Okay, Rebellion, Hellspire Mountains, trait gained, enemy killed in battle. Ah, oh, we finished that technology. The demise of Tilia. And let's go ahead, let's work on the, um, the Warhound and the Skin Wolf stuff. Um, because I think we'll be using those with with Wolfric and some of our other armies. Eventually with Throg, it's going to be like all trolls. But with our other lords, I'm I'm sensing that we might have maybe like a giant and a frost worm, you know, like one per army, but then a bunch of dogs uh, to chase down and harass all the uh, missile cavalry and stuff like that. 37 and 878. Okay, so 4,500. I don't know, Wolfric. Where is your next quarry? Okay, 15k. And what were we getting with him? I can't remember now. Um, we want to get this. Yes. Lightning strike, savage skills. Um, let's do the warhounds. Yeah, let's do the warhounds because um, with the technology boost. And his ability, the Warhounds, will be even better. And now, look at all this stuff we can do over here. We're going to have some money. Okay, Inger. Inger's got uh, this level. He's got six more skill points. And then he's done for the whole campaign. So what were we doing? Server die? No. 
the Warhounds, and let's get the Aura Size. I don't know that we'll need the Giants, but we could do one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, and then we'd have one more point to put somewhere else. Where would we put it? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Oh, okay. And then, um, okay. Now, if we want to, because uh, they went and popped an army up over here, we could suck these guys and their whole garrison out of here um, by attacking that army. However, it's um, this is this is a tough army. Okay, we're not really set up to like take this down. So I think what we need to do. Is we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna lay siege with Inger. Okay, we'll lay siege with Inger. Okay. And we'll go ahead. Okay, th this uh Werekin guy can go back into Throg's army. All right, now just like last time, if we attack this guy, then he's gonna, it's gonna be BS. He's gonna run all the way over to here. So we're not gonna do that. We'll move. Uh, maybe, maybe we can just assassinate him. 45 and one. All right, we'll attack him, he'll run. Oh good, he went that way this time. And uh, Throg could still catch him. Okay, yep, we'll do that. We'll do that. Sorry, little dwarf man. Sorry, Yanny. Okay, and then uh, Force March. Get ourselves back in here. And Inger has Ruination. Minus three and plus fifteen percent attrition. So that should make this go faster, right? Let's see how many turns. Normally, okay. So um, turns before garrison runs out of supplies. Five turns. It's reduced by quite a bit. That is excellent. Excellent news. Okay. Well, everything in here is kind of poop. So, I guess we'll get Storm and Magic in case we decide to, like, damage a guardhouse or something. And this gets us a Mammoth, right, which is pretty neat. All right. Now, I don't think the Krakadrak Dwarves are actually going to attack us. I think they're going to just stay holed up and suffer attrition. So, good. And here we go. Just got to kill this Rebellion. We are almost ready to come out of the north. This is This feels good. I'm so happy. And what do we get? 35 and 8. Potion of Strength. We're getting a, a ton of stuff out of doing this, too. In addition to all the wonderful chevrons and other goodies. Let's see. 32. Uh, we're almost at a point. I think after we sack the Krakadrak capital, we'll go ahead and upgrade some buildings. Okay. Can build a port. Uh, we'll upgrade this for sixteen hundred. And yeah, I guess we'll spend fifteen hundred on that. Okay. And then we'll be able to come out of the north um, and start going after Kislev, right? Uh, 
Okay, and we'll upgrade this building. Go ahead and get this one. Okay, still getting about 4,500 per turn from doing this, so totally worth it. And we're getting this guy leveled up too. He's um, right now he's looking more of like a um, a settlement watcher. Uh, do we want ruination? Yeah, I think we want ruination. I think I want ruination on everybody. That is a powerful ability. It, it's just it's really good. If we had if we had the uh, settlement in Altdorf and a full level ruination on Inger, which I think we do, yeah, um, they would already be suffering attrition, and we would be out of here. We'd be done with this, right? Okay, a couple more turns. Or I should say a few more turns. Three is more accurate. Now, a lot of times when the AI lays siege on me and my campaigns, they wait till there's like uh, one turn left, and then they decide to attack. So I wonder if these dwarves are gonna like try to sally out and attack us when there's one turn left on the attrition, or if they'll just sit there and wait. Block magic, ready for duty, Sir the Ek. Um, we'll pro if we're gonna recruit anything, it'll probably be Marauder units. So we'll get the experience um, for Marauder Recruits. Okay. Two more turns, right? Yes, two more turns. And let's 32. Yeah, let's get that. Okay, Wolfric's got a skill point. Um, Wild Beasts. Marauder Cav. Oh boy, tough choices, tough choices. Oh, no, up, up here. Urgh. Ah, this could be good, too. We get four more points with Wolfric. Four more points. Fifteen percent speed on fifty-six would be like seven, so he'd be speed sixty-three. Still not very fast. Or no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. It's like seven, right? Okay. Um. I almost never get ambushes. They almost never work. <laughs> so I don't think I'm going to get the ambush ability. Uh, they're useful. They're useful to like lure the AI out, but it's very rare that the AI actually blunders into an ambush. So let's get the dogs. Okay, we're going to do the dogs. That's what we're going to do. End turn. Yes, yes, yes. Ormgrim, ready for duty, ready for duty, ready for duty. All those guys that we uh, let go just a few turns ago. Okay. Find a fight. 
Yes, finally. A fight, Wolfric, finally. You've been doing nothing. And let's see, we'll go ahead and... And Ruination. Okay. And I think we got one more turn over here at this settlement. And they won't suffer attrition on that turn. They'll suffer attrition on the turn after that. So I think it's really two turns. And okay, we're going to do the patrol ambusher uh, just in case we need to assault an army that's full of dwarves. Construction cost, minus 5% for all buildings. I don't think we're going to need this for trade. I really don't see anybody wanting to trade with, um, with us way up here. Let's get the income generated. And let's get the growth. And uh, we're spending almost everything. Okay. Okay, Rebellion, 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 Raiding, 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 Raiding. Oh, man. And Kislev, Kislev hasn't, um, if we look at the campaign map, they have not gone and uh, resettled any of this, so it's all open. And it's going to be the Von Karsteins that we're going to be fighting with first, unless we decide ooh, if we want Altdorf, if we want that city... We got to go fight the Von Karsteins. Ooh. And we definitely got to go, um, take out Kislev. And I imagine that the... Now, the Von Karsteins and the Vampire Counts, they like us a lot. Is that what we're looking at? Attitude. They really like us. But I want Altdorf. Oh, and then let's look at... Um, where can we settle? So we can settle here. Um, here we do want to get the unique building in troll country with throg so we want to come down this way uh, we want to settle everything up here that we can settle we can settle the capital over here that's interesting it's not really a um, coastal settlements and major race capitals on the coast you can recruit new troops and replenish your current armies at a capital you can construct a fully fledged Norskin settlement. Okay. Ooh. And let's look at the Von Karsteins. Who are they at war with? Carrick Zifflin, that's these dwarves. And the Beastmen. And Bretonia. Now, if we go to war with Bretonia, ooh, we're going to get a Stalia. We're going to get the dwarves thrown in for good measure. We could go to war with Middenland. That's um that's probably a good choice. Uh, okay. Okay. So I'm guessing we'll um we'll be fighting against Kislev and then we'll go to war against Middenland with Wolfric. And we'll bring this other fellow this other lord that's uh, with um Wolfric up here. For the ruination, so that when we siege, whatever that's whatever that city is, I can't. Is it Marienburg? This is Marienburg. Um, when we lay siege to that, it'll go a little bit faster, right? Okay. Do we want? Marauder cavalry. These are the last skill points that we get with him. Reload time. Weapon strength. Um, yeah, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. I think it'll be worth it in the long run. So I don't think they're suffering attrition this turn, but I think they will be the next turn. So if we spend 32... 
Nice. Yeah, no attrition yet, but next next turn they're gonna all have like nothing. And oh, we get the aura chaos. Okay. Magic resistance for all units. Magic item drop chance, 15%. Um, yeah, I think I'll take the heed the visions. Although I didn't really pay attention to how long that lasts. 10 turns, wow. Okay, we gotta fight a lot of battles in 10 turns to get the most out of that, don't we? <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this. Ah, they got nothing left. It's great, I love it. That's huge, okay. We'll uh, go take this guy out, and then we'll go uh, attack the doors over there, and we'll probably call the episode. Uh, we'll probably call the episode done. And okay, let's just let's just end our rating for a moment and see positive nineteen. Okay, positive nineteen. I think it's time to come out of the north. I really do. Because uh, we're going to get a lot of money right now. Watch this. Okay. Um, normal stance. We've got four towers. We've got all this magic and whatnot. Um, this is looking like a much better fight. Let's go ahead and we'll fight this. And then we'll call the episode over. I do anticipate that we will still take a fair amount of casualties. Um, but we're going to let Throg and Inger do most of the heavy lifting here. Not not ourselves. No way. Uh, we'll gamble. Boo. Uh, why don't you just put the tower down? We got all these towers and really like not much to do with them. Um, we'll move a couple of them over here. Maybe, maybe we'll occupy them with our reinforcements that are coming on the field. But I, I don't think that we will. All right. Now, let's take our skin wolves. Let's go knock down the door over here with the skin wolves. And the um, and the werekin. They can all be here together. But then the rest of these guys, uh, they'll all be over here with Inger. All right. And Inger on the door. Everybody else over here. They're probably armed by quarrelers. And get on the door over there, please. Taking a lot of damage. Eesh, I don't like it. Okay, here comes all the goodies. Inger on the door. Whoa, whoa, did they knock it open already? Okay, good. Don't don't knock it open and go in there. Don't do that. Get our ice trolls and our dogs, right? We'll just uh, set the dogs over here like this. Okay, we got everybody's moving. Not them. Okay, let's uh, put these guys over here. And let's see. Fire and fire. That could be three, four, five. OK, 
Okay. Um, put the mana core on the uh, on the cannon. Ah, everything's taking too much fire. Okay, did these guys get the door open yet? Nope, almost. Uh, where are the trolls going? Get over here. Okay, this door must be open, right? Alright, let's back up over here. And that could be two, okay? Yeah, we're just going to, like, set these guys up over here. What's the mana core doing? Mana core's doing okay. Um, can we buff it? Okay. What do we got here? Ah, come on. Get off of them. Okay, what all is taking missile fire? Okay. Do we want to come in here? And where's our mana core? Suddenly our mana core is not doing so good. No, no. Up, up, up in the air. Up in the air. Okay, fly over here. Yes, fly, 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 fly. Fly, 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 fly. There we go. We're getting some missile javelins thrown over the top here. That's what we needed. Now these guys, throw some javelins inside. Throw them inside. Okay, let's go stand right here and throw your javelins inside. Trying not to take a lot of damage here. Okay. Okay, all this stuff is getting... Uh, Ah, okay. Let's get our Marauder Horseman way over there. Where is Inger and where is Throg? It's so easy to lose Throg and all this stuff. Holy moly. Freaking skin wolves. Alright, let's run. Run, 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 run. Get out of there. And this is what we're really focused on up here right now. And let's see, what are they? <laughs> These guys are still sitting back there. Oh, God, I'm a knucklehead. It's like, what are they firing at? Okay, let's go get these uh, long beards around the corner. Okay, our dogs ran away. Our regiment of renowned dogs. Okay, and these guys are still uh, doing good with their damage here. Are these javelin guys, are they throwing anything? No, they're like... They're just absorbing cannon fire. They're not doing anything else. Okay. All right, we got those guys are dying. All right, I guess we'll go in with Throg, right? We'll go hit these hammers with Throg. See what we can do. I'm trying to take as little uh, casualties as possible, but... Oh, man, leave our trolls alone. Okay, let's get our trolls over here. We'll fire on those guys, would ya? Okay, a lot of our javelins are out of ammo. And where's Throg? He's, he's doing good, right? Okay. Enemies in range. Okay, 
Yeah, how we doing? You get the mana core on them. Put these uh this pathetic group back over here. Okay. Let's uh let's run our trolls in through the door over there. Okay. Frog is taking some damage. And let's see. Tear their armor down. Okay, here comes Inger. We'll get back on these thunders. Okay, and damage resistance and all those goodies. So I'll go get a puke. Okay, and here come our uh, our berserkers. And let's see. Let's get the trolls up the up the back here. Swoop in with the mana core. And we'll buff the mana core, and we'll even go ahead and give it um, flaming attacks. Why not? Okay, almost there. Get some Marauder Horsemen in here. Alright, let's see. You gotta get this uh this guy down. Actually let's get the thunders. There we go. And let's go get these miners. They're miners, right? Okay, we should hack these guys apart. Okay, good. Everything back here is uh, falling apart. Them, not us. Uh, let's see. Let's get the uh, long beards with the great weapons. Get the mana core in the air, and we'll go get uh, this their um, their general guy. And yeah, we should be able to just swoop in and kill him. We'll see. And let's also target the Thane, right? Go get their other name general guy in the back there. All right, here we go. They're falling apart. Good. Pyrrhic victory. We still lost a lot. Dwarves are tough. So when we go up against the major dwarf faction, we're going to have a tough time if we don't... Um, if we don't siege them, we're going to have to siege a lot and just let the attrition uh, take its uh, take its toll. 30,000! Woo! Annihilation. Got ourselves another potion of toughness. And what are we going to do with the rock here? Let's see. We'll go ahead and we'll replenish with both of them. Um, we'll sack uh, this coastal city on the next turn. All right, let's go. Let's go build, right? The mighty Norskin builders. 
Uh, at long last, let's go ahead and upgrade this. Unlock that last slot. And we'll do Ice Drake Fjord and this and this. We're just going to get everything. Everything. And Winter Pyre. Eh, I don't think we need to build that. So what are we missing up here? We're missing uh, the Vanaheim Mountains. We got to get this settlement over here. Uh, we're missing Sarl Encampment. What is that a part of? Trollheim Mountain. So that's this. So we want to go get that. And is it the capital? I think it's the capital, right? Sarl Encampment is the capital. So now over here we got positive public order. So let's take this guy and let's go get the longship graveyard with him. So we'll force march. And then with Wolfric, we'll force march. And we're going to go get the Sarl Encampment with Wolfric. Let's just keep an eye on the public order here. Make sure it stays positive. Okay. And what else? What else? What else? That is not wise. We're good, right? Okay. We'll end the turn. Uh, skill points. Oh, you got two points. All right, we're going to end the turn, see where that leaves us, and we'll see you in the next episode. No. Okay, for this turn. Uh, we'll lay siege with Throg. We'll take Inger. And we'll go up to there. We'll break the siege. And we'll go into raiding camp. Actually, no, we'll um, we'll march halfway. We need replenishment with Throg's army, and we'll do raiding with um, Inger. I was gonna end the turn, but you know what? Uh, we're just gonna keep going, and we'll do we'll do one more one more turn. This will be the last turn. Okay, let's go over here. We can get as close as we can over here. I hope that we don't see any Kislev armies, and we don't, so we're looking good. Where can we build? We can build pretty much everywhere. Um, it's lying to us. We can't build here. We've already got something building. We can build here, and we can upgrade these. I, I don't want to upgrade these yet because it is expensive. I want to focus on this one first. So we got all the all those goodies. Uh, what else would we do here? Let's go to the building browser. Um, okay, so the ice troll layer. Let's do the let's do the ice troll layer because we have to do our level five buildings in the capital. So that would be the ice troll layer, and then uh, two thousand and two thousand. Ouch! We spent a lot. Okay. All right. <laughs> One more AI turn. And then we'll see you in the next episode. Now everybody wants peace, right? Okay, that's it for the episode. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time, and have yourself a good afternoon.